Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Brickmaster Nate, and today I have a review of the custom Commander Cody Brickheads by FM Bricks. So this build is made up of 166 pieces, and you can get the instructions for about $4 on Rebrickable. The first part about it is the stand. It's just a typical 6x6 instead of the older 4x6 version. And it also has these studs right here, so you can attach it to the bottom of the feet right here. Just like that. The actual build is really close to official Brickhead's designs. I think the design has a good mix between detail and simplicity. The face is completely brick built using these angled plates and these tiles and even this bar with the stud attached. The visor is made up of these orange tiles. This tile right here is a little bit loose since it's only attached by one stud, but since it's surrounded, there should be no problems with it falling off. My favorite technique in the build is using this piece right here to create the T-shape in the visor. And I feel like this would only work with clone troopers with visors since it needs this piece on top to cover it up. On the top of the helmet, underneath the fin, there's a lot of these dark tan jumper plates for the heavy markings on the helmet. And I think this is accurate, but it does a good job of showing the details without sticking out too much. On the body, there's these three stripes that are built sideways using snot techniques. And there's no other chest plate details on it, but I think this works well because it doesn't overcrowd the design. And this part also hangs over a little bit, so there's a lot less room anyway. The belt design is also pretty simple with these one by one tiles on either side. And the mismatched color is accurate to the clone trooper design, so I appreciate that. And the belt also continues using these gray plates all the way onto the back. I like this barrel that's attached using this one by one with this piece connected to it. It's really smooth and clean, but you also can't tell that there's a gap once all these pieces are attached. But I think this part on top sticks out a little bit too much. It's almost as wide as this part and it's supposed to just be a little plain detail that's supposed to be right on the back. The arms are really similar in design, except for this lever that's attached to one of them. It has a little bit of posability, but it's supposed to just stay upright like this. I like the use of these cheese slopes on either side to create the shoulder pad. It makes a nice angle and it also feels pretty smooth. And I also like the use of these clips in black rather than white because it adds a little bit of extra color to the build without making it too plain. The legs use even more tiles and these headlight bricks. From this angle, they seem a little bit thin because of all these extra pieces on the front and back. But from the front, I like the width of it because these extra tiles add some extra armor. Overall, I think this is a really nice custom Brickheads that has a good mix of detail while still maintaining the simplistic design of Brickheads in general and the pieces are easily accessible, which makes it easier to make for yourself. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. <laughs> also, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out my other LEGO mock review videos. Thanks for watching, bye.